What is this Chico? Welcome to another figure review and today I got something very special in mind. Coming from the Finding Moments series and this is my first ever figure that I have, that I have been waiting for in a long time. The, and I'm telling me and this is... Say hello to the bad guy. And by bad guy I mean Razor Ramon. The, from the Defining Moments series. Take a look at the box. We got the words Razor Ramon. We got the bad guy holding the Intercontinental title. And right down on the bottom it says that it has the words Defining Moments. Take a look at the inside the box. We got the bad guy saying say hello to the bad guy. And on the back of the packaging, you can see Razor Ramon's back, not to mention his the back of the vest. And you can see the design, design of, the, of this gold chain that he likes to wear. And right, in, in, right inside this gold chain, you can see the face of uh, the bad guy. And right over here, you can see. Let me just move the box a second. And right over here, you can see, see his accomplishments of what he does. It must take, take, take a look very carefully, or possibly, if you would, to take a look and read, read everything. And now, and now, with that being said, if you're done, let's take a look at the figure itself. Now, before I begin, I'd like to say inside the packaging looks amazing compared to the outside, because you can, can still see the design of Razor Ramon's gold necklace, or should I say gold chain. <clears throat> And you, that you can use as a display, display holder or something if you got a shelf you display your figures with. But since I don't have a shelf and I can't really display anything at it right now, the only thing that can go to one place and that's the garbage. So now on to the actual figure. Take a look at the bad guy, man. I got to admit, his face sculpture looks pretty amazing and it's very articulate and very accurate for, for, for a Scott Hall figure or Razor Ramon. Hopefully he's going to be someone like him for probably represent Kevin Nash in the WWE Hall of Fame for 2005. As you can see here, his his hair is going to be right down his back and you can see the awesome vest detail that says Razor Ramon as well as the as well as the designs on his tights with razor blades. It, 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 it's like it's like every time you sit down, there's something poking on his ass. <laughs> and up front, you can see the words razor right on the front of his trunks. And then you see the razor blades. When you need someone in the, in the nuts, or should I say the balls, he get, he gets sharp pain. And also, you can see his purple boots. Like he's representing Saints Row. Like the Third Street Saints, get it? If you play, if you play video games of the Saints Row, they all wear purple. Well, you get the joke. And keep in mind, the chain and the vest are removable, but sometimes you gotta be very careful with with taking off his chains. If you try if you try to do that, you try to move the you have to move the hair of some sort. And I just noticed one thing. There is a spot of gray on this hair. Mattel, what the hell? But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'll just take off the vest and I'll just have to do it off camera to see how he looks. And here's Razor Ramon without his chest. The one thing I haven't actually pointed out to you is the fact that his elbow pad also has a razor blade on it. I know you couldn't see close, but there it is, just a little bit. I guess he can use that when he elbows people. They can give him a nice clean shave. Speaking of shave, he didn't actually buy a shaving his hairy chest either. But at least it makes him look like an animal. Good, baby! Very good! Anyway. Here is the close-up of the vest right over here that says Razor Ramon and that, and right there is the buckle in the belt. Try try to su support it like he's like like support the ladies. Hey yo, she does up a fun man. Just ask Eva Marie. Which brings me to the second goal in the WWE, and that's Razor Ramon's Intercontinental Gold. Hmm. All I can say is there's no flaw in this except for the fact that I agree with with, with that guy with the gloves, you know, from Burnout Inc., that they, that, that, that Mattel could actually paint the background where it says Intercontinental Tile, just like they did with the globe and stuff. That way, the words would be a lot clearer. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all, this is Razor Ramon with some grooming tips. Do you have a bushy beard like Luke Harper Chico? Well, I would recommend you a, a nice clean shave. If you want to look like the bad guy, I would recommend Gillette razor blade. Cause you know what they say, man. 
is the best a man can get. Now as for shaving cream is concerned, I would recommend not just any type of shaving cream, I recommend the Razor's Edge. What's the matter? You thought I was referring to the Edge Shaving Cream, Chico? This was more effective. Overall, I would admit that this is a very excellent figure and it is a must have for all you Razor Remote Scott Hall fans out there, especially especially to Grimm, who's also a big, big fan of Razor Ramon as well as Scott Hall. Well, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to pick this up, you can get it at either Walmart stores or you can actually find them at Ringside Collectibles. And you did out go Grimm to check out to say 10% as always. Please like, comment, share, rate, subscribe, do anything with this video, and I'll have, I'll have more reviews in the future. Until next time, mate. Say goodbye to the bad guy. Cause I'm about to give me some piece of that cherry pie, Chico. Hey, I, what can I say? Cheeks up for fun, man.